Hello angels. Hello. Hi. Ha. Huh? Anyway, this is Young Terry Show. For those who don't know me, uh, for those who have not subscribed, please continue subscribing. Share my videos. Share them widely. And also, don't forget, love Doctor Ernest. Ernest Mwenye. Uh, <laughs> thank you. What's uh, first and foremost? Let me thank each and every one of you who is wishing me. Uh, the happiest, like happiest marriage. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Sana. I've seen so many of you congratulating me. You know, it is not easy. Ah, uh, you know, coming to social media and saying, you know, this is my husband. It is not easy. Though some of you are like, <coughs> is this a movie? Is this real? We are confused. Ah, uh, so guys, I want to tell you that there is nothing like a movie. If it is a movie, you know, someone can't kiss live on social media. No. There is a true story. Like, we do things that are true and real. Love Doctor continues supporting Love Doctor. He is my husband. Also, guys, today we have a video. Um, this video, it touched me. It really touched me. It touched my heart. You know why? Because there is a lady somewhere, there is a soul somewhere that is suffering. Suffering, when I say suffering, I mean suffering. And when I say it, I say it from the bottom of my heart. It pains me. There is a lady after this, after my introduction. There is a lady who is suffering from cancer. And to make it more worse, it's the, it is in stage 3 cancer. Stage 3. She, you can imagine, she is the breadwinner of her family. Her family depends, it depends on her. From her husband to her to her children, from her children, peer cancer depends on her. You can imagine the hospital bills. Her husband is got sick two years back. He's suffering from uh, epi is it epilepsy? Uh, when this disease started, he, he got mentally challenged. And last year, this woman started bleeding. She started bleeding. She didn't know what was the cause. But when she went to the hospital, she was diagnosed of having cancer and it was in stage 3. Kwa majina ni Epali ni nyabata mori. Ni kuna uonja wa cancer ambao umefika stage 3. Aksina chochote na umba usaidizi. Sina hata pesa. Sina kitu chochote kabisa. Uwanja wangu natakika na pesa. Lakini hakuna. Na mzee wangu ni mwanjwa. Anaanguka chini. Anaanguka mahali popota achijui. Akikucha ameumia. Kila mahali anaumia. Na kitu chochote. Mtoto wangu alifanya standard 8. Akapita akapata max 323. Lakini siku anawesa wakumchukua shule. Sasa nilipawa Pewa machipu, nikaona nieli nirudi nyumbani mse wangu ni mwanjwa. Ananguka, hakuna wanjwa wa kipafa, akiri yake si itimamu. Tasa nikaona nirudi nyumbani na mtoto wangu mkupa mshana, alifanya kirasi eti. Nisaliti yake ndiyo hii. Si ukua na pesa ya kumuchukua shule, sababu wanjwa uliniingia. 
sasa marafiki na jamaa na watu walinisaidia mmoja alinisaidia na, na mtoto alipata alama ngapi mtoto alipata alama 323 max sasa naye alikuwa ananizumua nataka aende shule na pesa si kuwa nazo sasa watu wakanionea huruma mmoja kanisaidia matres mwingine sanduki mwingine kitamba mwingine kitamba na mwingine blanket sasa pesa ilinikosa ni ya kununua uniform na sasa kumshukulia ndani nikaona hili sasa nili tu aende hii ni ya kutembea na kurudi sababu sina uwezo na muka asubuhi saa 11 na msindikisa mpaka suneka alafu anaanza kutembea kwenda nani na mimi na kuuta na rudi chioni kabisa sasa naomba usaidi sisi na chochote nataka msaidie wa sisi na kitu chochote na kwa jamii na yeye nafaa kurudi tarehe 20 lakini sina hata pesa za nini ya kurudi na matibabu lazima nitumie pesa ndio nitipiwe sasa naomba usaidizi lakini nisaidie mtoto wangu ni wadogo na sasa umeonjeka kwa muda unatosha mimi umeonjeka si sana kutoka mwezi wa 7 eh uliambiwa kanisa yako ite kijana cheti tiri na walikwambia wanaweza kusaidia sasa waliniambia nikienda kiliniki kita la ishirini na watu tataniereza pirenta tipiwa na mtoto alikuwa anatamani kwenda shule gani kama mtoto anaenda alikuwa anatamani aende shule kama hii gasero lakini hakuwe bodi alikuwa anatamani gasero hivyo alikuwa anataka shule gani gasero hapo sasa ndio anaenda day school eh ndio anaenda day school na bodi eh okay Eh ndiye alikuwa anatamani aingie ndani sasa. Eh hii kasera ndiye anatamani. Eh kuna shughuli nyingi. Sasa venye alienda mama. Eh kuna naelewa kuna pesa zenye wanafaa kulipa na vitabu kuna zile matumizi. Uliweza kuzipata kuingia shule. Si ni watu walinisaidia mmoja akanipea dictionary, mwingine kamusi, mwingine pipia kila kitu walinisaidia. Alafu akaingia hivyo tuseme kwa sahihi kwa sababu tunaona kuna vitu zingine ziko hapa ni school fees imekosa mtoto aingia tu boda ndani eh yeah. okay na mama nitujuze umesema wakati ulikuwa hospitalini kwa ndio kabla hata uende wewe ndio unashughulikia familia wewe ndio kila kitu wewe tuseme ndio unasimamia familia eh yeah, kila kitu ni mimi mm. na wakati ulikuwa umeenda huko nani alikuwa anawashughulikia kama chakula wakati ulikuwa hospitalini majirani tu walikuwa wanawasaidia mm. majirani walikuwa wanawapea na huyu mzee wako alianza kukua na hiyo ugonjwa kifo kata ngulini miaka 2 imepita mm. mm. sasa mimi ningalikuwa vizuri kutoka hapo nyuma eh kutoka nyuma alikuwa sawa mm-hmm. na pia uliweza kusema mzee wako ako na shida ya kiakili mm. pia hiyo ilianza wakati alianza na hiyo ugonjwa mwingine ama kilikuwa eh fira alianza kuanguka mm. ndiye alianza hiyo tu sasa kama saa hii tumekuja hapa hatujapata mm. mzee wako anaweza kuwa kwa wapi anatembea tu mm. eh anaamka asubuhi anaweza katembea kwenda suneka ama atembea mali popote mm. alafu akikuja anaanza kuiticha chakula anasema mm. mimi si mwanafunzi wa shule mm. nataka chakula saa hii mm. hata chakula iwe mm. ama hakuna hii anataka chakula kwa sababu ni mgonjwa eh sasa lazima ningangane mm. apate chakula na mlijaribu kumpeleka hospitali eh hospitali alichukuliwa lakini ikasindikana mm. mm wa tatu wa pili alifanya grade 6 na yeye ako grade 7 alafu na wa tatu ako grade 4 okay eh wa tatu ni ngangana huyu na ina huyu kwa grade 7 unachua ni sida kutoka uniform pesa za range na yeye ni ngangana lakini watu walinisaidia tu usaidizi tu mimi nilipewa sasa kabla ugonjwa wako uweze kukiakili kuli mpaka saa hii kwenye kulikuwa na hali kulikuwa nafanya shughuli gani za kupata kipato nilikuwa ninafanya kiparua nini ya shamba ya kilimo mm. okay. na 
labda kwa maana kuna wale watu ambao wanatazama wanafikiria eh umekuwa umeanza kuzungumzia kwa juzi na hizi shida zimekupata juzi uh, before hiyo uliwahi kuwa na shida yote ya kiafya hapana nilikuwa tu sawa ngawa miri wangu ni mdogo lakini nilikuwa tu sawa Hmm. Kwa 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 mtu anakutazama unaweza na, naomba uwapatie namba ya simu kwa wale watu ambao wanakuangalia alafu tuone kama ile tunamaliza. Si kuna simu? Mhm. Ni peana? Yeah. 07 69 09 22 26. Hiyo ndio namba yangu ya simu. Ifali ni nyabata muuli. Nyabate muuli.